Yes, sir. I belong to Ganjam district, sir. Ganjam district. So why Ganjam is famous, sir? So Ganjam is famous because it is one of the southern districts in our state, and it is one of the populous districts also in our state, and it is one of the most business hubs also. One. Mm, Sorry. It is one of the business hubs also of Southern Odisha. So you are also a assistant horticulture officer. Yes, sir. So almost three years going to be horticulture. Yes, sir. Completely. Yes, sir. So what is your role, sir? Responsibilities. Sir, as assistant horticulture officer, I am I am responsible for the, all the horticulture activities taking place in our block. And also, I'm interested with the responsibility of developing horticulture activities in my block, including more and more farmers for yes, these so activities. What, uh, like the horticulture officer, what type of tools are you uh, recommending the people to grow there? Apart from conventional fruits like uh, cashew nut and mango, we are targeting the farmers to take up cultivation of lychee and uh, pomegranate, which are not there in cultivation stage. Still, we are uh, recommending farmers so that they can increase their income so to a greater extent. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm posted in uh, Raigada district, Bisam Gatak block. Okay. So, uh, what kind of climate is required for lychee? So, for lychee cultivation, we require a little bit cooler climate with less humid area, uh, where the night temperature should be less. So that the influences will be happen and the fruit development can occur. Sometimes in you uh, knew that uh, by taking lychee, the child have some health problem. Is it uh, right or wrong? Sorry, sir, I'm unable to recall about that news. Okay, so agriculture, you have uh, agriculture and uh, forestry. You are uh, so. How do you think that um, we can increase our farmer income? And what are the steps taken at the government? So, farmers' in income in we can increase by providing many schemes. Government has tailored many schemes over the first over the past years, uh, like our prime minister's uh, campaign, Beat Se Bazaar Tak, assisting the farmers in every stage, from procurement seeds to uh, providing insurance, then providing post harvest management and marketing facilities like Enam all these things and uh, providing fertilizer subsidy everything is contributing towards doubling of farmers income okay so what is the basic difference between msp and procurement price sir msp is the minimum support price if one farmer is going to any mandi or uh, any dealer msp is the minimum pro minimum support price uh, below which he is not allowed to sell or the dealer is not can't procure below that price and uh, procurement price is uh, is the price decided by the government in in which price the fci food corporation of india procures the price which is generally above the msp so as assistant horticulture uh, officer what are the major challenges you are facing in the ground so major challenges would be uh, we are very severely uh, i mean our staff strength is very less that is one of the major problems. That's why we are unable to reach number of farmers, including me. We have three staffs only in my block. In order to reach to maximum farmers, we have to partner with NGOs, other line departments like what is a library mission staffs. That is one of the major problems. And uh, the farmers are unable to uh, uh, unable to adapt that new technologies. Like uh, we have uh, launched one portal called GoSugum, where the farmers can. Uh, apply the, to the schemes directly through online. But the farmers uh, are not uh, on aware of the technical advancements. That is also posing a problem. OK. So I'm not also following the option. Yes. So bamboo is a tree or? No, sir. Bamboo is a monocotyledon grass. Sorry? Monocotyledon grass, sir. It's in grass. OK. So do you know what are the changes in the forest track? There are some. Uh, changes in the forest act and newly forest act 
I will read open it, sir. I have not read it till now. So what kind of forest do you have in uh, particularly in Odisha? So in Odisha, majorly five types of forest are found. According to the Champion and Sales classification, there are around 17 types, 17 odd types. But if we broadly categorize the forest types in Odisha, we will have five types. Uh, Odisha semi evergreen forest, then Odisha moist deciduous forest, Odisha dry deciduous forest, and then literal and swamp forest, four types. Mango forest. Yes, a literal and swamp forest, mangrove forest. So in India, where you can get mangrove uh, deciduous and evergreen forests? Mangrove. Mangrove, as well as evergreen, as well as deciduous. All these three combined in one combined place. Combined in one place. We can say that Odisha is one of the different places. Oh, in Odisha, where you get, uh, you tell me one place where you get all this. Oh, in Odisha, I'm telling you in one place. In Odisha. Odisha, where? Kendrapada, sir. You get evergreen uh, forest in Bitter, Bitter Konika, we can get uh, that, that is mangrove. mangrove. Oh. Could it be yeah, west? Yes. Uh, so, in Odisha, where do you get uh, mangrove forest? Last year, last year, in Amazon forest fire also, and similar problems. Yes, sir. What is the cause of this forest fire? How we can prevent it? The major cause would be, sir, uh, anthropogenic, uh, anthropogenic activities, human activities, uh, carelessness, and another cause would be the rising temperature, global warming, which causes the surface of the forest gets really dry, and uh, if there is any fire, then it gets spread it easily. Okay. So, so as a horticulture officer, yes, sir. Um, now, why? What kind of product now India is India is a big country What are the products that are being exported or some of the product number one actually in the horticulture some 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 product yes. uh, we are in number one in the country. In horticulture, uh, cashew production, okay. cashew, cashew nut production, cashew, cashew or mushroom? Ma mushroom or spices production. Mushroom, we are I think number one. I will try to find out, sir. Okay. Uh, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Sorry, sir. Um, no, 2018, sir. 18. BSC agriculture. You belong to which district? Ganjam, sir. Ganjam. What is the significance of Ganjam? And the control of Ganjam in the economics of Odisha? Ganjam is one of the coastal districts where we have uh, Gopalpur port. A Lo lot of trading activities happen from that area. And uh, Ganjam is also a contributor of uh, what, uh, that seafood production, seafood extraction, and uh, um, Prawns they are cultivating, and uh, Ganjam is the, just because it uh, touches to the border of Andhra Pradesh also. It is one of the tra transit hub of uh, many goods and uh, services, and the uh, goods are being which are imported to Odisha happens through Ganjam only, and uh, it gets distributed to different southern districts also through Ganjam. Another thing coming from Ganjam, domestic violence case. And what is the root cause of the domestic violence, mainly in Odisha and particularly in the case of Ganjam? So many cases coming in news in the district on them. One reason I can think of is uh, liquor consumption. Maybe that may be one of the reason. Domestic violence. I think the day to those two other cases are not connected to the There are the best examples. So that every each and every corner of Odisha knows about the Tapasuni case. Right? Yes, sir. Yes. The Piga case. Yes, sir. Recently, uh, Anabul MLA case. Then what is the root cause? Mainly in domestic violence in Gonza. I don't think. Recently, uh, Gonza news a uh, particular place coming under uh, Ramsar sites. Temporal Lake, sir. What is the name of Temporal Lake? Temporal Lake is a minor irrigation project established by our uh, Ministry of Water Resources. And that is uh, that harbors many biodiversity also. That's why it got included in the Ramsar site list. Any idea regarding more water use? 
Mogharo Yojana is uh, uh, is a scheme of our state government, which is uh, features. sir, features of this scheme. Sorry, sir. Recently, okay, a particular language is going to be recommended by government of Odisha for getting uh, a status needs. Really. What is the name of that language? I think Santali language. Santali language? No. Santali is already in the Already, already in the Sorry, sir. I will try to. Okay. Thank you. Might have listened or might have contact me in your knowledge that the command of price is 100 plus. Yes. Okay. Every best of price is 100 plus. Yes. Sir. What is the root cause then there? When you are agriculture officer and you are option option after going to agriculture, what type of agriculture? In this season, we are right now. It's uh, onset of the monsoon. Monsoon just begun. Uh, so during the summer time. Last year also monsoon come. Uh, I already had a okay. Yes. Okay. Sir. Then the noise so control the price cars one twenty last year. I mean into one twenty two. So one reason that I read in newspaper is that uh, the high temperature. A lot of uh, crop failures were also seen, and uh, particularly in the southern states like Karnataka and Maharashtra, uh, there is onset of many diseases which uh, destroyed the tomato crop also. And uh, in in India, we are facing one problem is that we don't have cold storage facilities enough to store the crops. But the you, we already depend on Karnataka, Bangalore, uh, sorry, Haryana, uh, in uh, your Nasik. Then why you in Odisha and why the officers like you working in Odisha? Sir, uh, for some crops only, we are dependent like uh, tomato and uh, onion. And uh, we are, uh, as a department, we are working to uh, sort out that issue. Recently, in Karaput, our honorable secretary has uh, instructed to cultivate 4,000 4, hectares of potato so that we can be self sustained in potato requirement as a state. And uh, onion, onion also, we are uh, targeting various districts where the onion cultivation can always be taken off. So that we can be self sufficient and we can reduce the import bills. How can you control the inflation? One, one solution would be, sir, uh, uh, operationalize many cold storage facilities as much as possible. And the mega food parks that is uh, in stagnant stage in Raigada that need to be operationalized as, as soon as possible. And uh, post harvest management, like uh, cold chain facilities, logistic, logistic infrastructure. Those needs to be strengthened so that uh, the farmers' produce can be stored and uh, can uh, release to the market during the uh, off season. This is the particular digits, consumptivity species. I mean, in ODI, you are actually Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then, what is the cause and how we can prevent it? Maybe it is uh, affected the school going uh, students. Yes, sir. Uh, I heard, I've heard of it. Using the spectacles and uh, that is the one solution I can think of. Let you do the procedure of a particular uh, parcel. Okay. Then what do you do to prevent this disease? Many uh, this disease are happening to the school and students. Then it's your responsibility also. Okay. How when can... there is one case is uh, what's seen, then we can um, uh, declare holidays for some days in the schools, two to three days. Or else. So, uh, declare holiday. Are you so I, I don't think so. Maybe we can. Um, DA, we can tell the DM about this particular issue and uh, sort this out, or else the student who is suffering from the disease, we may give leave for a few days to the student. And I can think of this solutions on this. Okay. So, what is your gardening? Um, sir, um, in my home also, I do did separate, some rooftop gardenings also. Rooftop gardening, sir. Rooftop right. and balcony. And uh, what do you grow there? Sir, money plants and uh, some crotons also I've grown. You are a happy dancer. Can you go rooftop and rooftop gardening? Can you go particular Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, why, one, why do you think that you are just fit for this, sir? I've been in the field for past three and a half years, and I have studied closely the farmers and the rural people. I know they what they what how is the thinking box, and uh, as an administrative officer, I can get the gamut of opportunities and the diverse work experience. What I've accumulated the experience over the years, I can use in the field. That will make me well suited for the job. I think. So. Thank you, sir. Uh, so, okay, I will go to the next one. Yes.